Hi, I'm Michelle Spiller, and this is your BNB Coronavirus Report for Tuesday, May 12th. Today's the 42nd day of school that we missed since the beginning of the following stay-at-home order. Yesterday in Rochester, Governor Cuomo laid out his reopening plans for New York State. It will be a regional plan, which means each region will need to achieve set metrics before they can begin the process. Currently, Long Island is not ready to begin the process. At the end of the briefing, the governor praised the amazing efforts the people of New York had. That's why I come back to who slowed the spread in the beginning? The people of the state. Nobody else. There was no government action. It was an unprecedented action of the people, presented with the facts, informed and engaged. Hasn't happened in my lifetime. Hasn't happened in my lifetime. I've never seen this situation before, where people actually did what the Founding Fathers thought they would do, that they would really care and really get engaged and really get informed and really uh, act on what they believe. Now, let's check out what's going on in your neighborhood with some of the b and reporters around the district. I'm Emily Yuck, reporting from Patricia Lane. During the summer for the past eight years, I have gone to a sleepaway summer camp in the Pocono Mountains. As coronavirus has affected everything already, there is no surprise that the virus is bleeding into the subject of camp. Some camps have already shut down for the summer, but many are awaiting instruction from their state governments on what to do. My camp and many others have not closed yet, but there is always a possibility that it will. Campers around the world will be missing their summers, but students are already missing out on things that they will never get to experience again. I myself am missing the spring sports season, watching the musical, So You Think You Can Dance, and many other fun things that happen in our school. Most of all, I miss regular learning. I understand that teaching virtually is hard on teachers and staff, but it is even harder for students. Retaining information like this is almost impossible, and it's made it so much easier for what was learned in the beginning of the year to be forgotten. I hope that school can go back to the normal in September, but that will only be possible once Long Island is reopened. I do not know when that will be, but I have a feeling it will be done prematurely in order to try to save the economy. From PMB News, I'm Emily Yuck. Hi, I'm Jake Winkleman reporting from Sycamore Ave. Today, I wanted to uh, address what my summer plans um, might be like after uh, the impact of coronavirus, or uh, how corona will affect my summer plans. Um, Assuming that Corona will die down by at least January, I mean, not January, excuse me, July. <laughs> um, I'm hoping, really, really hoping that it doesn't affect my summer plans too much. Uh, I love the beach. I always want to go to the beach, and I know Long, and it's usually Long Beach, and I know Long Beach is a, a pretty infested area. So, um, yeah, I really hope it doesn't affect anything too much, but I feel like definitely some things are going to be affected by Corona in the summer. Uh, what do I miss most about being in school? For sure, I gotta go with my friends. Uh, seeing my friends every day and getting to talk to them every day in classes and stuff is definitely something I kind of realized I took advantage of. Um, definitely, I do not miss work. <laughs> we still kind of get that, so I do not miss the work, but um, yeah, I definitely miss my friends. Um, and uh, when do I think we'll be able to reopen Long Island? Like I said earlier, I would, I'm thinking around, I'm really, really, really hoping because like, ugh, this thing lasted way much longer than it should have already, but like, I'm really hoping that July is the month that everything comes back, slowly comes back to normal, Long Island will reopen, and um, and it will be a beautiful summer. I really hope that happens. From BNB, I'm Jake Winkleman. Hi, I'm Michael Gonzano with your COVID-19 update. We are almost at the two-month mark of this global pandemic, and positive outcomes are closer than you think. The curve has finally started to go down for the past couple of weeks, give or take, and the summer is very near. The virus has already canceled my plans to go to Florida, but that may not be so much of a bad thing because my family may be getting a pool. Hopefully, the hockey season will open up in the summer so I could play once again, as well as watch the NHL playoffs. Also, my birthday is in July, so I'm hoping I'll be able to spend much time with my friends then. To be honest, there's not much I miss from school. Obviously, you can say friends, but I talk to them every single day on social media, so that isn't a problem to me. Since Long Island has it pretty much the worst, I think we'll be able to open for real anywhere from late June to mid-July. I know that sounds crazy, but we need to be as safe as possible, and I don't want to take any chances until the numbers are in the double digits or less. 
That's your coronavirus update from Powell Avenue from VMB. I'm Michael Galfano. Thanks, guys. Now in a new feature called My So-Called Quarantine Life, b and have been creating video diaries to show what a day under stay at home looks like. And today, it's my turn. Let's take a look. And welcome to the day in my life of Michelle Spiller from the B&B Morning Announcements. Today we are currently in my dream and personally I am very scared. So you know what? Let's just change dreams really quickly. And here we go. That is a lot better. So as you can see, I'm having a great dream right now and I'm currently sleeping and my room is freezing. Let me tell you, it literally feels like this. Like I sleep with so many blankets, I cannot stand it. But anyway, I usually wake up around 2.30 p.m. Yes, I know, very late in the day. You will see why later. And today, I went downstairs to eat breakfast, but I ended up being out of milk. And as you can tell, I was very frustrated about it, so I didn't eat anything. And then I ended up taking a shower. And after that, we decided to watch some Netflix, watching Money Heist right now. Really good. Then I did some homework that was due actually during that day. Then my dad was like, hey, want to go for a drive? So I was like, sure, why not? So we drove down to Jones Beach. Look how pretty it is. Look at us walking on the boardwalk. And I promised we were wearing masks and gloves. And we were not near everyone. Or we were at least six feet away. I promise on my heart. And look at that pretty sun. Ooh, wow. So then we came home for dinner time. Ate some leftover Italian food. It was bomb. Then I washed my face. And then we're going to get some vibe lights going yes those are my vibe lights and i decided to have a little snack and throw some time check um then i decided to watch some netflix with my friend we've been watching orange is the new black then i brushed my teeth and we decided to get started on the night so i did some art efforts for my art then here's me singing a little song which i can't put because like copywriting then here's me doing some homework, and I'm listening to Spotify. I have a great Spotify playlist, not to flex or anything. Then there's another time check, and I think I show you the sunset in this. Oh, no, not the sunset. Look at the moon. Oh, there we go. We love the moon. Look how pretty. Uh, nice. So then I did some more homework, some work. I did some editing, and it ended up crashing around 5.30. So it was a great night, and there you go. You can see the sunset there. So hello, sun, and good night, everyone. Did you catch how I called the sunrise a sunset at the end? So that will do it for another episode of B&B's Daily Report. Be sure to subscribe to the B&B YouTube channel to get the latest on what's going on all around the district during these difficult times. To the members of our community and our families who are struggling today, know that you're not alone. For b and I'm Michelle Spiller, and make sure to wash your hands.